take away where it's time for the first undercover of the series. Yes, it's the one you've been waiting for, and it's one of our most ambitious stunts yet. Jeremy Kyle's on the show, that way. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Now, are you looking forward to watching this episode of the Jeremy Carroll Show USA? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, Should we just show it? Should we just, just show it? Ju I've just been waiting a long time for this. Let's, this is quite possibly the most embarrassing moment ever, but go on. Let's cut to the chase. Here's what happened when Ant and I headed to New York for our biggest undercover yet. <laughs> Jeremy Kyle is arguably the most controversial talk show host on British television. Where have you been, then, you waste of space? Famed for his uncompromising methods. I haven't finished. He's a man who doesn't suffer fools gladly. Sit down and behave yourself. And after years of putting liars and cheats under his spotlight... The DNA test results show that the uh, biological father of Lisa's baby is... He can spot a fraud a mile off. I haven't finished. Or can he? We've decided to introduce Jeremy to his most bizarre guests ever in our most ambitious undercover yet. And to do it, we've come here to the land of the weird and the home of the strange. Yes, America! Now, we could have visited the Jeremy Kyle Show in the UK, but we wanted to take Jeremy by complete surprise. So instead, we travelled over 3,000 miles with our crack undercover team to the biggest city in America, New York. Jeremy has done over 2,000 shows, but today's will be one he'll never forget when we introduce him to some very, um, eccentric guests. First up, we have plastic surgery addict Mike, that's Deck, who's not quite ready yet, and his devastated wife, Janine. And finally, New York's hardest working health and safety supervisor, Howard, that's Ant, who's out on an important mission. So how are these three people connected? Well, to find out, it's over to Jeremy, who's about to experience one seriously bizarre show. Time to go undercover. Here we go, five seconds, five. four, three, two, one. Music. Next guest today, Janine, is here to confront her husband, Mike. Now, Janine is devastated because her husband has become obsessed with extreme plastic surgery. Janine says he doesn't want to become someone else, but actually he wants to become something else. <laughs> Janine is on The Jeremy Carl Show. Give a round of applause. How are you? Really nice to meet you. Thank you very much indeed. You all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Sorry. Um... I read this this morning and I'm like, really? I know. How long have you been with this guy? Um, I've been with him for like six years and um, we met at church and um, his cat Smudge died when we were going out. Sorry? His cat died, Smudge Smudge was his name. Let's just slow down a second because okay. I... No, no, you're fine. I'm 47. I find things difficult sometimes. They say he's become obsessed with plastic surgery. At that yeah. moment when you met him, was he talking about this at all? No, no, no. He wasn't... No, he wasn't talking about that. What's the cat got to do with plastic surgery? Um, he got... He gets... He's got surgery to make himself look more like the cat. <laughs> and, and, the, and the serious thing, I read this this morning, this is what's, what's important for you in your relationship, is that he is spending money that, frankly, as a couple, you don't have, right? Yeah. He spent $11,000 on surgery and he's lost his job now. Are you OK? Yeah, I'm OK. I know it's important to your I'm life. Okay. Hey, he's called Mike. He's been living six years. Let's get Mike on the Jeremy Carl show. He's coming that way. Or rather, deck undercover. What we do at home. Cat stuff sometimes. He does cat stuff sometimes. Yeah, it's like cat, you know, goes at my legs and muzzles them or like does a This thing. woman says, welcome to the show, that she had absolutely no idea when she married you six years ago that this was an obsession. <laughs> Smudge obviously meant so much to you. Smudge was the, was the best friend I ever had growing up on the farm. But when that cat died, part of me died too. This <laughs> might sound a little bit weird to you guys, but. You know, underneath all of this, I'm still the same guy. This is about you two. This isn't about me. Tell him how you feel. I just feel like you're not the same guy anymore. You're not acting the same. Janine, I have the same heart. Jeremy's dealing with the situation very well. 
Time to up the ante. You want to eat cat food? It's just... <laughs> it's just me. It's just me. It's... You, no, you want to use a litter box? It's so <laughs> That's not really normal, though, is it? No, I add another thing into this story. You, you go next door to the neighbour because she treats you better than she does. Well, what, what's that all about? Just... That's, that, that's where I get the cat food. She gives me the cat food next door. So people at home... People at home with the greatest respect are thinking, oh, right, OK, so he misses his cat, he's had plastic surgeon, he bought round next door to the neighbour for a quickie. What's going on? It always, it always sounds crazy because you don't understand. If you try and use a litter tray, then you'll understand. <laughs> if you use... I don't want to use a litter tray. I want to use the toilet. I mean, the point is, I actually take this the right way. I don't care what you do. It's her, your wife. It, it, tell him. But I've told you, Julia. Please. I don't need all of this. I'm still the same guy. Really? It's not. Live like this anymore. I can't. You can't be a man and wife if you're gonna go sleep under cars and poop all the mouse. That's it. You're gonna get sick if you do things like that. I, 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 I you bought a mouse in. <laughs> I regret that now. I, I'm sorry, I know I come from a different planet, quite obviously. <laughs> I mean, you miss this cat so much, you've had plastic surgery. Anybody can see that. And is this something that you're going to continue doing or what? At the moment, I, I'm, I'm kind of happy with how I look and how I feel. Do you have the cat's ashes, apparently? Yeah, he takes them everywhere. He took them on our honeymoon. You have our pictures. You've got to let go. you got to let go of him. I feel, when, when I have Smudge's ashes with me, I feel like... Smudge is still here and he's part of But he's, he's just a cat. Us. Jeremy has completely fallen for the story. But how will he deal with the arrival of Smudge? Is that the cat's ashes? That... That's Smudge's urn. He brought him with him. And I need you to just... Right, this is, this is seriously Smudge's ashes, right? Yeah. You can see, see, honey, like, we need to stop. You just need to stop. No, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the New York Health and Safety Department have heard there's a dangerous cat on the loose and they're on the hunt to find it. Are you seeing the cat? The cat! Wait, wait, wait. Let's go, cat. Let's go. No, stop it! This is too... What are you doing? OK, let's shut this down now. Excuse me, man. Let's shut this down now. My name's here. Is Howard Newman, the Chief Health and Safety Inspector of the Tri-State Area. You have dangerous cats what is, in the what? studio. Nip the cat! Nip the cat! Yeah. 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 Are you Jeremy Cow? Who the hell do you think I am? Jeremy Cow, sir. <laughs> this studio is not a place for a big cat. Therefore, so this the studio... Quiet, sir! The studio now has to be shut down as decreed by the Safety and Health Act of 1970. In fact, you're going to have to face the charges on Ant and Dex Saturday Night Takeaway, Jerry. Yeah! What a fantastic sport he is. Give him a round of applause. Jeremy Cowell, come in. Brilliant. Oh, Jeremy. Jeremy, brilliant. And he didn't suspect a thing all the way through that. The problem I had was that my right-hand man of eight years, Tom McClellan, who's going to be named and shamed, kept <laughs> saying to me in my ear, this is real, this poor woman is crying. Don't you remember the lizard man in America? Yeah. This is just... And I kept thinking, right, OK, just go with it. Uh, slightly when you came out, I thought... <laughs> slightly? Something's going on. Something's going on. Yeah. It's, it's, the, it's that My moment. life is weird and this was just <laughs> even more weird. <laughs> <laughs> Suspected it was us, though. At no, all. I didn't. And, and uh, you know, no. Go on. You that got moment me. when I you left over, and you went, I know this is important to you. Don't rub me <laughs> like that. <laughs> but he was like, she's really, really upset. And I was going, how did? This oh, is it, it, you were it was one of the best undercovers Loved we've it. ever done. And as a thank you, Jeremy, because you were so brilliant, <laughs> we've got the cat's <laughs> ashes as a souvenir. There you are, Jeremy. Just here. We've got. If you have a look, it's got Adam Deck one, Jeremy Callan because you know. Can I say, <laughs> that says, 
Anton Deck won, Jeremy Carl nil. <laughs> I'll make a public vow right now. Oh, no! You better, you better look over your shoulders. I'm so I'm coming for you, seriously. He's not a man you want after I'm you, is he? He's not. He's not. You. Uh, thank listen, you. thank you so much. It's nice to have you, and it's, it's lovely to see you looking so well. Thanks, buddy. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.